hey guys so in this video we are going to see how to install java jdk on our windows 11 system all right so there are different versions of java out there but we are going to see how to install java jdk 8 in this video because that is the most stable version of java right now so you can find you can also download different versions of java the latest version of java using the steps that we are going to do right now but i prefer to download java jdk 8 so even before starting with the downloading or the installing part the first thing that you have to do is check if java is already installed on your system or not so just search for cmd that is command prompt right and here you will have to type this single line command that is java slash dash version right if you check this it says java is not recognized as an internal or external command which basically means that java is not installed on our system so now let's go back to our browser and here I search for Java JDK, right? So I'll just search for Java JDK and you can see the first link that has appeared over here. You can see there are two versions that are available right now, which is Java 19 and 17. If you want to download that, it is very simple. You can just go on this link and you can see here is an option for Windows and you can just do download the installer, right? Not the compressed archive or the MSI installer, just the installer, right? You can install this but we are going to see how to install java jdk 8 so i'll search for java jdk 8 specifically because this is the most stable one and this is the first link that i get i'll mention this link in the description okay but watch the video till the end because you have to do some steps for java to be installed successfully right don't just skip the video here because you've gotten the link in the description okay so here depending on what your pc is either 64 bit or 32 bit you can decide which version to download okay now if you don't know which version your pc is you can just search for you know uh my pc over here and you can see windows specification appears over here so you can just click on that and after clicking on that you can see over here if you check out system type so it says 64 bit operating system which is x64 right and if you search for this uh, on your own pc you can find out which operating system you're using okay so I'm using 64 bit so I'll install the 64 bit installer so I'll just click on this download button okay I'll just accept this and I'll click on download all right now to download you have to log in into your oracle account if you guys have an oracle account it's good if you don't have an oracle account create your oracle account don't worry you don't have to buy it buy java or you know don't have to do anything you just have to install it so just input your details create an account and after that we'll move on to the next step so i'll just fill it all my details and i'll meet you after the sign in page is complete all right so i've completed my sign in i'll just click on the download button and you might see a different page but this is the page that i'm getting so you can see a different page or as soon as you create an account or sign in you can see the download has started so we'll just wait for the download i'll fast forward this part uh, so you know we'll wait for the download to be completed and i'll then show the next steps so hang on, I'll just skip past this part. All right, so our download has completed. So I'll just switch on to the downloads folder. And here you can see that Java has been downloaded. So I'll just uh, double tap on it to start the installation. So here you'll see a pop-up that asks you if you want to allow. So just click on yes. It will start our installation of Java. You can see now uh, it says this is a setup file that we have. So right, just click on next and leave this default as it is just remember this this is where we are installing java all right so this is the path on which we are installing java let's click on next and now our installation will start you don't have to do anything right now let's just let's complete it on its own okay so now it says you know uh, we'll just click on okay here yeah, that's we don't want to change the destination folder so we'll just click on next and now you can see that it is installing java all right so now we'll just wait till the installation is completed and then we'll do the next steps Now you can see that our java 8 installation has been completed so we'll just close this now the next thing that you have to do is 
if you remember the path where our java file was stored right so we'll go into this pc we'll go to uh, windows c drive then we'll go to program files and here we have java right now there are two things here jdk and jre so jdk is java development kit and jre is java runtime environment so we don't have to do anything over here right now so we'll just go into jdk and we'll go into the bin folder and what i want you to do is i want you to copy this uh, path file path that is there because we have to add java into our environment variables right so just copy this path for now on and here search for environment variables or environment variables and here you can see this option called as environment variables just click on that all right now here you can see user variables and system variables so what you have to do is you have to do it this way so i'll just delete it i've added it before so i'll just delete it and i'll create you go into system variables and create a new one and the name will be java underscore home and the variable value will be the value that you have copied okay this bin part just paste it here click on ok and click on ok over here as well and click on ok and close this now again go back to our command prompt and let's check with the same java dash version command if java has been installed or not so just click on enter and now you can see java version 1.8 has been installed 1.8 means java jdk 8 all right just 1.8 is added we don't say it 1.8 while saying it we say java jdk 8 all right and even java runtime environment has also been added all right guys so this was it so make sure that if if you are running this command on cmd that is java version and you are not seeing the result that you are that you want to see so basically that happens because you have not added it to the path so make sure that the last step that we did you do it if you're not getting any result while typing java dash version all right so that was it for this video hope you guys uh, understood how to install java on your windows pc so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video